students, welcome to FA News. I'm your master, um, guide, on today's news journey. I am Dr. Taggett, and I did not just run from an insane asylum. Our first story tonight, textbooks that are unreasonably heavy and filled with too much information are causing students' heads to explode. As a result, student, many students are on strike in front of the school. They are demanding new, lighter, dumbed-down textbooks that are easier to understand. One teacher supports this strike, Mr. Lightfoot. I fully condone this strike. It lightens my workload and reduces the headaches that I get from the students' work. Another teacher disagrees vehemently with this strike. This strike is completely pointless. These textbooks are easy to read. You must not be reading them right. Mr. Worthing, I don't understand any of this. Shut up back there. Principal Harshlerder has yet to be reached for commentation about the strike. And his secretary, Miss Storm Hornet, has threatened our reporters to stay out of the offices or face detention or even suspension. Now, a quick word from our sponsor. renegade group of students from the strike have begun stealing textbooks from classrooms. No one knows the identities of these students because their disguises are so complex. Here's an amateur video of a theft in progress. Hey, what are you doing with those books? anyone has any idea of the identity of this thief, please dial the number 1-800-FA-NEWS. Our top story tonight, shocking new developments in the running of the school. Headmaster Principal Harshlerner has issued a headmaster's decree that all students must now bow to Hurricane Lou the iPad man as they pass him in the hallway. With more information on this story, senior correspondent Codfish has dug deep into this new shocking new law. Thanks, Gil. Due to the new rise in popularity of Hurricane Lou, Mr. Harshlerner has decided to make it necessary to bow to the iPad man. When asked about this new law, the headmaster just says it is necessary to keep the iPad man happy. None of us want him to unleash the ultimate wrath upon us. Back to you, Pat. Thanks, Cod. We now go live to the main hallway where junior field analyst Demented is interviewing Hurricane Lou. Thanks, John. I'm here with world-renowned superhero Hurricane Lou the iPad Man. So, iPad Man, what do you think about the sun change in student rules? Well, uh, damn. First of all, I truly think that I deserve it. I mean, come on, I am the best person in the world. Everybody should have been bowing down to me in the beginning. Wow, you certainly have pride in what you do. Of course I do. I'm, I'm the iPad Man. No one else is like me. First, I think everybody should name their first child after me. I mean, if they don't, I'm just going to roundhouse kick them into oblivion. You are aware that most students will not be having their firstborn children while they're in high school, correct? Well, in the slight chance that that does happen. But either way, they'll be bowing down to me for the rest of their lives. I am the iPad man. Yeah, why aren't you bowing down? Now, man, where do you think you're going? Oh. Now we're going to interview a student about this new rule. Tell me, how has this rule affected your life? Now I'm afraid to walk down the hallway in case Hurricane Lou happens to be there. 
And I don't want to name my firstborn child Louie. Wow, powerful stuff. Thanks, Dee. Well, it's been a long, hard, and painful trip, but we made it. Remember to call that hotline, trust no strangers, and bow to the iPad man. This is Patio Furniture, and for all the other members of FA News, have a wonderful school week.